Hey, welcome aboard the Minnow. To your station now. We're burning daylight. You need to speak to the captain. All right. You're speaking to her. Hey, I be the captain of the ship. Don't tell me you're one of those overly superstitious sailors. If you're gonna be a barnacle about it, best be getting off me ship. All right then, to your station. We get seas to sail. Make haste, crew. The sea waits for no man. When I was just a little lad, or so my mommy told me, away, haul away, go haul away, Joe. But if I didn't kiss the crows, my lips would grow all moldy. Away, haul away, go haul away, Joe. Away, haul away, go haul away together. Away, haul away, go haul away, Joe. Away, haul away, go haul for better weather. Away, haul away, go haul away, Joe. You call yourself a second mate. We can and die and bullying away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. We can't even stand up straight in the pocket she's a rolling away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Away, haul away, we'll haul away together, away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Away. Haul away, we'll haul for better weather. Away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Well, now can't you see the black clouds are gathering? Away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Well, now can't you see the storm clouds are rising? Away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Away. Haul away, we'll haul away together. Away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Away, haul away, we'll haul for better weather. Away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Best watch your words around the crew. After all, you're one of them now. Yeah, found them here and there. Good sailor folk. Some might see madness. I see a crew worth their gold. I don't care where they come from or what they look like. I care only about two things. Loyalty and the job well done. But mainly loyalty. There are a few things worse than mutiny. Let me introduce you. The one staring at us, that silent shilling. She's not one for conversation. You'd be lucky if you get a grunt out of her. But for the most part, she's harmless. The big one is Moonshine. No one has ever seen him sober. They say he came out of the womb drunk. You don't have to believe me. That's just what they say. The one next to him is first mate Twiggy. He has a thing for hats. <laughs> one time he was so desperate for a hat, he made one out of twigs. Then there are the twins, Squid Lips O'Malley and Shark Tooth Morgan. Shark Tooth is the one with all the tattoos. She's not fond of newcomers until they prove their salt. Just work hard and she'll warm up to you. And Squid Lips. Well, when we're at port, you won't be finding him until it's time to set sail again. He's extra friendly with the locals, if you know what I mean. And you, our newest crew member, are by far the most boring sailor I've ever had on my ship. 
What are we supposed to call you? You have a chance to make a new name for yourself and you pick that. I'd call you Barnacle if it wasn't a name for somebody else. <clears throat> How many of those knives do you have? Oh, you should have led with that. Welcome aboard, Seventeen. Now put that away. You may call me Captain Cuttlefish. Or Shantyman. Or Cuttlefish. Well, who said I can't be both? Hey, that's true. There are some that aren't even fit to be cabin boys, let alone captains. Watch your tongue, there is no mutiny on this ship. By the look you gave me, you don't believe me. Let me guess, you know what kind of sailor I am, huh? Well, I already fooled you with being captain, so there's that. Perhaps your judgment isn't as good as you think. We'll be heading east, to the land of Ferox. The land where a horse's neck is as long as a man is tall. They're a shark tooth's favorite. But you did not hear that from me. I told you we aren't pirates, just non-typical sailors. Oh, what we know, we know. 